Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. George here. I hope everyone out there watching this uh, is doing good. Today, today's reading. Hmm, boy. <laughs> uh, well, this is a little clue here of the video you're seeing right here of, of a, uh, what is a lady drinking some tea. Well, we're going to experience something from tea, and uh, I'm going to bring up the tea reading uh, in the part of this video. But the uh, Sebastian Rogers case has just turned up to be one of the most bizarre, uh, uh, I don't know even how to explain it. it, it's just really is bizarre, I mean, we don't understand what's going on, why, um, Katie uh, Proudfoot, Chris Proudfoot, why they moved out of the house, um, abandoned the house, uh, living in a campground, just all kind of strange uh, things that's going on. So this reading today is a reading of Sebastian and trying to figure out what happened to him. And I got to tell you folks, some of the stuff that's going to come up is quite something. Now, another thing I do want to express here is that always, in any of these videos that I do, these are for entertainment only. You take these videos with a grain of salt. But with that, I can tell you, there's stuff that comes up in these readings when I do these, and with, and with the help of my great friend, Marilyn, that, that helps me out as far as looking at the videos and, you know, telling her part what she thinks, you know, is going on. Um, yeah, some s strange stuff comes up. We also, also added a transcript of Marilyn's, uh, her thought stone transcript, and I think you're going to find that interesting. So, without further ado... Let's uh, let's get this started. Let's go to the board and see how this turns out. I bring all spirits in. Hello, spirits. But negative spirits. Okay, folks, just so you know, I'm not, I'm going to try not to stop this throughout the video as often as I had been. Um, there is other videos that you can kind of, that I've went in to detail. To the left on this screen, at the bottom left, you'll see right there the cards. That's the Terror of Ghost Spirit cards. To the right, the smaller cards, that's the Cardamency cards. The cards above to the left, it's got the eyes on it. That's the fortune teller. So, but we're going to see some interesting stuff that goes on in this reading about Sebastian Rogers. And I really wanted to try to figure out if the spirits could help me figure out where his location, or at least what happened to him. So, here we go. Spirits, you can communicate. Communicate with all these devices here. In this session today... I'm asking for some information about Sebastian Rogers. He went missing on February the 26th, 2024. And today's date is April 25th, 2024. He's been gone quite a while. Yes, he has. Um, we need some information what happened to him. If spirits, if there's any positive spirits around here, you can communicate with these devices here. We have, we have this device. You can flow your energy there. And let me see if we have any activity. Yes. Oh, looks like we've got some activity here. Yeah, we always, seems like, 
always how some kind of activity, once I start these readings, and it is something else, when these uh, devices start activating, uh, when I start trying to bring in some of the spirits uh, to help, you know, with the communications. Okay. You're welcome to come in. And boy, You're do they love playing with these okay. devices. Devices. <laughs> Very good. All negative spirits, all negative spirits out of here. Okay, spirits I have here, I'd like to find out if we have a spirit here. If I do have a spirit here, can you tell me if you're an adult male, adult female, or a child male or a child female? If I have a spirit here, I've got uh, matches in here. And you know the numbers here. I'm going to roll the dice. Tell me what to, number to pick. A four. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, spirits. All right. Let's see what we have here. Number four. And we have... Oh, we have a child female yeah that's that was the thing that um, was interesting on this reading too I don't know why um, it, it just seems like uh, if there is a spirit here and it is a female you know that um, a child um, what is that telling us is that telling us that they have already made a connection with Sebastian, maybe some child, maybe a child that, that he knew or knows. That's an interesting one. We have a child female. We'll put you right there. I'm going to give you a name. All right. First, though, I want all negative, all negative spirits. Yep. Absolutely. All negative spirits away. This is moon water. Negative spirits, I want you away. Yeah, folks, the uh, the moon water is very interesting. Um, if you don't know about that, it's a um, it's it's water, but it's been infused by moonlight. And what you do, you just put the water in a you know whatever a cup or whatever you want. And when the full moon comes around, uh, you set it outside overnight, let the moon shine on it. And that's how it becomes moon water. And it's supposedly to bring in really good, strong, positive spirits or entities or something in your reading. So anything can help. If Anything like that would definitely be a plus. All right, so we have a child female. Let's give you a name and we will call you winter that's going to be your name it'll be winter yeah that right. that is uh this is another thing i wanted to say you'll see in a minute of uh, why this name winter is is odd because i had written down this i don't know about a week ago two weeks ago i change names every once in a while but watch what happens here this is very winter. interesting now winter talking about the name winter I need to find out if this uh, the information here if this has something to do with one of the seasons here we're looking for something that has something to do with Sebastian Rogers let me know what season yellow will be spring green will be summer the orange will be fall and the blue will be winter help me figure out what's going on with one of the with the seasons about Sebastian Rogers <laughs> okay what's the odds of the blue little crystal popping up the other ones are upside down but winter the blue pops up with the name winter you know, it's little things like that, folks, that when you do these readings and people say, oh, that's hogwash, that's, you know, well, let me damn tell you, okay, that's some damn good hogwash, if you ask me, that's some good stuff coming out 
and some stuff we just can't explain. So that's why I love doing this, but it's interesting. And you know, Sebastian, I mean, it was what, February 26th, right? They went missing. So that was still winter. And, but I'm hearing, you know, that in the past, this started back in December, uh, even earlier than that, troubles, troubles, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Troubles brewing in the family. Got the blue. It's the winter. <laughs> okay. And so I'll show you. It's the blue. Hmm. So whatever happened to Sebastian Rogers, it started or it had something to do in the winter time. Thank you, spirits, for that. You're doing good. Winter, you're doing good. That's interesting that winter came up. One more thing I want to try out right here before we get to the cards. We have here, we have the ghost beans. Folks, this here is uh, something new that I've uh, just added to the video. I've been doing this for a long time and it's interesting what comes up. Um, these are called ghost beans and what happens, you just shake them, you ask a spirit, you know what uh, what can you give me as far as a negative and positive? The positive is the white beans. The negative is the purple dark beans there. And watch what happens. And spirits, if you could, and my spirit winner, if you're here, I need you, I need your help. I have the, the ghost beans. The white is something positive. The dark beans or something negative is something about this case is there something positive going on or something negative going on let me know okay so we have one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven of the positive beans. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. <laughs> Folks. I was like floored when I saw this. I, I said, okay, that just don't happen. It's it's very rare that you have an even number of beans uh, on the top line. And the top line is the positive side. The bottom is the is the kind of the negative side of when you do this type of the bean reading. And uh, I asked Marilyn, what, what does she think? Because this was an even, uh, everything was even. She says, well, uh, what's going on? You've got good and evil fighting each other from what she can see. And there's good things happening in the Sebastian's case, but there's also uh, negative things. And, and it's trying to balance out and who's going to win Hopefully the positive does, but she says that's what it's all about. It's telling us that there's good and bad happening in this case, and it's it's just kind of a split in the middle. So it looks like that it's kind of an even situation here. Yeah, this is crazy that came up. It looks to appears to be that we have an interesting situation here. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty on that. Okay. And you'll also notice the bottom line, there was one more of the negative. That's a small percent of negative versus, you know, the good. But don't know if that means anything. I didn't ask Marilyn about that. I didn't even think about that after watching it. But there was one more of the darker beans that was on the negative side so Sebastian's situation here we need a fortune teller for our cardamency cards and here's our fortune tellers and if you can help me with this 
Spirit Winner. I need a fortune teller to help us with the cardamancy cards. I'm going to roll the dice and give me a number between one and four again. A two. Okay, one and two. A very good winter. You're doing good. Let's see. Let's see who we have here. Ooh. <laughs> we have Lester Halogenia. Ah, uh, a very good story. And he represents the diamonds. All right. We'll get... Yeah, this is uh this is Lester Halogenia and I keep telling you folks if you've seen the other videos, um if you think of it, watch the other vi the videos that I have on these and uh, I'll try to put the description of his video in the description and it's very interesting. These are they're not very long, they're about 2 minutes long or so. But they are very interesting, and I have four fortune tellers that I use in my setting. So, and uh, they always, always come out with a wonderful reading card for me. All right, we'll get to him here in just a moment. I have here the Terra Spirit cards. Terra Spirit cards here that. Uh, can you help me with a card that will help us understand the location or what happened to Sebastian? Is there any way you can do that with these cards? At least give us an idea of a situation in these cards. So I've shuffled them. I've turned them around. I'm going to roll the dice. And how many, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five to deal out to get to the one card. See if it's reverse or forward. Thank you, spirits. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow! Look at here. It's the five of pentacles, five of pentacles, and it is forward, upright. Yeah. So here we go, folks. Okay. So with the five of pentacles, and I was very surprised about this. And folks, I try to remind myself to tell you everybody that's watching this uh these videos um that i'm not a psychic i'm not a medium i don't uh i, I only do this as more of a hobby uh i think it's uh just a good learning tool for me to you know to find out what different things do when if there's spirits that interact with our beings with our existence and this card coming up um, my good friend Marilyn always said, look at the card. Look at the art. Every card of the tarot cards, they mean, they'll mean the same as far as what it's, what it's saying. You know, you'll have, you know, the, it's, it's kind of the same. But every card has a different meaning when it comes to the artwork. And notice this art. It looks, it appears to be a lady, maybe a mom. Down the back, she has a child, okay? And it appears to be maybe a male child. And you have the pinnacles in the window, which is the five of pinnacles. And you have snow in this, this, it looks like snow, right? We're talking about winter, um, uh, about Sebastian going missing. Um, so it's very interesting, but there's one thing about this card that I started looking at. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of creepy in a way. And I don't, I hate using that, but look at the child, how the child, how they captured this child looking at the back of the mom's head. Just like, what are you doing? What are you getting to do? What are you thinking about? So... But here's a description of um, this card here. And it is, it's interesting. It is very interesting that this card came up for Sebastian Rogers and what, where he may be at or what happened to him. In a general context, the Five of Pentacles is not a great card to get as it represents hardship, rejection, or a negative change in circumstances. You may be feeling like the world is against you, and nothing is going your way when it appears. 
It can signify bad luck, struggles or adversity. Homelessness, unemployment, alienation and poverty are all represented by this minor arcana card and it can signify illness, divorce, breakups or scandals causing turmoil in your life. If you are feeling left out the cold, firstly, remember that this situation is only temporary, and then ask yourself if you are reaching out for any help or support that is available. There is help out there for you. It may be in the form of moral support from friends or family, financial assistance from social welfare, or even the kindness of strangers but whatever it is, take it. Nothing lasts forever and this hardship too shall pass. So I'm going to tell you folks, when I saw and read the description about this card, um, because I don't know every card what they mean, um, uh, but th this one really hit home for me because of the fact that we know, if you've been keeping up with the Sebastian Rogers case and you know his mom, Katie, Katie Proudfoot, well, she's not been out seen searching for Sebastian. Now, that doesn't mean that she hasn't uh, been out searching, but she's not been visibly She's seen. She's left the house. They've left. They abandoned the house. Um, she's not accepted any of the social wear, welfare, um, say social media welfare, like uh, Sebastian's dad has. He uses it as much as he can. You know, he's out here looking for his son. So this card coming up is just such a an unbelievable card to be coming up on this. And the one thing that I'm looking in and think about this card, and this is what Marilyn asked me, and she don't watch a lot of stuff, but she does keep up with certain stories from what I gather. But she asked me, um, does what does uh, Katie's mom say about Sebastian being missing, or what does Katie's family say about it? Does she have sisters, brothers, aunts? Have they been out talking? Do they? What are they saying? What's their reaction? What are you? What are you seeing? What are you reading on their reaction? And I said, Marilyn, I'm not seeing one person that I can tell from Katie's side of the family show up on TV anywhere, nowhere. I've not seen nothing. Now, that's not to say that they've not been there or they may not may have been an interviewed and I just haven't seen it, but I can t tell you <laughs> for a fact, if they had, if some part of Katie uh, family members have been interviewed, we would know about it. So, and if you folks out there, if I'm wrong, and there is an interview with uh, Katie's mom or family member or something that I don't know about, please let me know in the comments. But isn't that strange, folks? We're looking at a mom, a child on the card, and there's all, and this card is saying you need to reach out for the social welfare because if you don't, it's going to go away, and it will. I mean, I hate to say this, the more time goes... It's going to go away, and we don't want the Sebastian Rogers case to go cold, but it will as time goes on. And it's so hard to understand why this is happening with this family. It's just so difficult. That's why everybody's so involved with this. So. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sorry, folks. I get on a rant about this. Because I get it upsets me to think that if something really did happen bad to Sebastian by a family member, I don't care what family member you are or what kind of person, you know, that's the worst thing in the world you can do is to harm a child and especially a special needs child, okay? So it's that makes it even more harder to understand why things are happening in this family that uh, in a normal situation you would know that it's 
it shouldn't be that way, and it wouldn't be that way. So. Thank you for that. Okay. Now, as I said, Lester Heligenia represents the diamonds. Spirits we have here, the cardamency cards. And again, bad spirits go away. I'm going to turn over the cards here in the first diamond I come to. That's going to be our information card. Something that may relate possibly to Sebastian Rogers and his story. There's no reversals here. It's a spade. And that is the five of diamonds. Ooh, that card has come up before. Yeah, folks, this is absolutely a really interesting card, too, that came up. Um, notice the word homeless, homelessness. Okay, so in the, um, the Five of Pentacles card, that also references homelessness. And I asked Marilyn about this. I had to ask her, well, I, I haven't seen anything about, you know, like homeless folks around, uh, that may have seen Sebastian. She said, no, that's not what that means. She says, think about what it says. It says homelessness. There's someone that doesn't have a home, doesn't have a home anymore. And I said, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Poor situations. I mean, look at this. Begging the goods with large donations. And that's another thing, folks. We're talking about donations that's coming in. And there has been donations to GoFundMe's. GoFundMe and all this for looking for Sebastian, you know, and that's great. I had talked about a video on my other channel uh, about being careful about scams. And if you notice this photo here, it's, uh, you know, this is a homeless character or it looks like a like a down and out character. And there's holding a coin in, in his hand. And, you know, you just got to be very careful about uh, things, but this touches on uh, the type of person, you know, and that you may run into. So we don't know what has exactly happened to Sebastian, but I am so curious that this card is trying to say something about that. I'm wondering what exactly it is saying. And time will tell. Hopefully we will get some answers. But here is the description of what this card means. Um, First of all, let me say that this card uh, represents the state of California and Nevada, and the country is the United Kingdom. If you folks out there think that this means something with the Sebastian Rogers case, let me know. I don't know if it does, but it, all cards have different states and countries. The Crossroads and the Peddler's Ace be careful in deals or transactions of any kind. You're in the middle and you have four different directions to choose. So choose very wisely. The five of diamonds can mean when choosing wisely, it's a success card, typically in business. Can also mean success in your home. Also may mean you have a good marriage or romantic relationship with a good home by choosing situations very wisely, but choosing poorly, you could dissolve everything you and your partner work for. Yeah, that's that's crazy there. Because I was wondering, is that talking about Katie? I don't know. Is it? This is all a ledge, but it is interesting that that came up. And this is uh, Lester Halogeny. This is uh, his message. And each one of these cards have messages. And this one is, scars are like battle wounds beautiful in a way they show what you've been through and how strong you are for coming out of it and i think this card might be or this statement might might be talking to seth you know because he's being scarred by this and he is in a battle trying to find his son um i think he knows pretty much what may have happened he just can't prove it but he is trying desperately to go out and look and search for his son we'll find out if what maybe one day we'll find out what is going on 
with the situation but that's uh this is an interesting uh, saying right here a message very interesting hmm. Sebastian are you in the center and we've got all these people surrounding you here we'll soon find out about that that is very interesting very interesting well, spirits, I'm going to go to the other table now, spirit winner. I'm going to read the tea leaves. And I'm hoping that you can help me with a vision with the tea leaves. Something about Sebastian Rogers. Something about Sebastian Rogers. So, folks, this is a tea read uh, session of this. And I don't know if you know of, um, if you've ever heard of tea reading. Uh, it's an old art uh, of fortune telling goes way back and the interesting thing about the tea reading is that there was ladies that uh, back in the day because uh, like in the 17 16 hundreds uh, you know this reading palms reading cards was considered rich craft um, it was not it was frowned upon but there was ladies that wanted to uh, and men that wanted to uh, read, you know, art, read cards and, you know, and stuff. Uh, and friends would ask them, hey, can you tell me what my story is going, you know, whatever the situation is. Well, it was frowned upon. So what the ladies had discovered is that in tea, you could find a message in tea leaves. So they would brew the tea and they'd put the tea leaves in like you see here. And they'd drink all the tea, except for just a little bit, leaving it at the bottom. And then flip the cup and read the tea leaves. Now, folks, this one, man, did this tell me a message. Here we go. Hey, spirits. So, I have my tea leaves here. And if you could give me some guidance, some information about possibly what had happened, or what has happened to Sebastian, Sebastian Rogers. I appreciate some info. If you can tell me, if you can guide me through these tea leaves and give me a vision of what possibly that I need to be looking for. Now, folks, the reason I put the watch there is because you, when you're doing a reading, uh, you hold a cup, you swirl it, you think of your question, and then you put the, uh, a personal item on the bottom. If you're, you don't necessarily have to do that, but from the understanding of the spirit world, they like something to be associated with you with the tea leaves. So that's why I'm doing that. Spirits, if you will, please give me a, a vision of something that happened to Sebastian Rogers. This is my personal watch. If you could please give me some sort of vision from the tea leaves. Folks, when I started looking at this, I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm seeing. And then all of a sudden, it came out. Uh, and maybe you will see the same thing. But leave a comment and let me know what you see in here. Um, but this is interesting. Man, is this interesting. I'm seeing... vision here. Now at the top right here, this is from the past. I do want to tell you also that this was, um, I had got that, uh, I had mistakenly 
was thinking the top was the past, but the top of the cup is the future. The center of the cup is the present, and the bottom of the cup is what possibly has happened in the past. This is something from the past here. Something's happened. Somebody is swooping in with some sort of idea and in the middle ground, in the middle of the cup, there's only one little speck right there with this little pointing right down to the future. And it appears like there's a wing there. There's some sort of a angel maybe looking down looking down into a cavern. And this, this right here, this looks like a, some sort of a possible demon. But there's an angel looking down. And it looks like something had been thrown, thrown into the ground. So, folks, what I saw here and I know that you all may see something completely different, but I see a grave. I see an angel above the grave, hovering over the grave, and I see right beside it a demon. A demon has put something in the grave. The demon is the big part, the clump right there to the right of the grave. And right next to the demon is the demon's counterpart, if you may. Okay, that's the person that would uh, well will be there to assist. Uh, doesn't have, not necessarily has a whole lot to do with it, but is there, well, allegedly, and this whole, everything here is allegedly, um, but has, is watching the demon, what the demon has done. And I know there's a lot here, but... Marilyn even said the same thing. I sent a picture of her, and she said, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely that. Um, but she said at the top, though, that is, that's something looking. There's particles. There's something in the future that's going to, that's capturing something here. So, uh, so hopefully soon maybe we'll get some good news, you know, of something developed on this. But, boy, this was so crazy that I saw this. But let me know what you see in this vision. Thank you, spirits. Thank you. Okay, folks, so... This is the uh, part that I wanted to uh, let you know that Marilyn, she did a Thought Stone reading on uh, Sebastian. And her friend, her friend recorded it. And what I did, I took the recording and turned, because Marilyn doesn't want her voice. She don't want anything to do with, you know, social media. She don't want to do it and I respect that so I wasn't going to use her voice uh, she said she could that I could use her what was said written out so I'm going to show you what was what she said and I typed it out and we'll just go over it but this is her what she does she grabs stones in her hands and she asked a question about what happened to Sebastian Rogers and she said that she was looking as if Sebastian allegedly was trying to show her something uh, through his eyes. Now, again, this is a ledge, okay? This is just, you know, her vision. So there's no, you have to take this with a grain of salt. Uh, we're not accusing anyone of anything, but it's very interesting, folks, what Marilyn saw in her uh, reading of the Thought Stones. So, 
So this is the first right here. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to stop this, but I see someone picking or panicking. I see someone picking me up. I'm so, so something, something heavy. And Marilyn was saying that she was visualizing someone picking her up. And she was supposedly, she was thinking that it was the view of what Sebastian possibly may have been experiencing in her vision. So this is where this is stemming. But again, this is just a ledge. There's, you know, this is just her vision. So this is, this is crazy on this. This is not my fault. She said, yes, she heard, she heard that vision. She, she felt it. She said that whatever was trying to tell her and talk to her, it was saying in her, in her mind, she could see someone saying, it's not my fault. That had to be very, to her, look at that, I see, see my little dogs. And I don't know if Marilyn even knows that Sebastian had dogs. I don't know. I don't know what Marilyn knows, but that's an interesting, because I, and I'm not even sure. I, I think I saw that they do have dogs. Now this was, this was very interesting. It says, I see something I see something gray or silver. There's something that that appears to be a car. Is that our car? She was saying that it was like she was visualizing and hearing from a child's voice. Is that our car? You know, like real surprised. Is that our car? And I'm trying to read kind of tell you what I was vision what I was hearing Marilyn tell me so it's, it's very interesting it's like I was getting cold chills I was way over cold chills someone is being covered up in a car I'm like damn what is this what is she visualizing I mean what think about that what does that even mean and then this came up someone is laying in in the back seat of the car someone is laying in the back seat of the car like they're being covered up i would think maybe i don't know i see car doors closing the garage doors opening they're opening automatically wow and they do have a they do have a garage they do and again we're just alleging this is not we're not alleging that anybody did anything but it is something that she saw this vision and i don't even know if marilyn honestly i don't even know if she's ever seen what their house looks like because she don't really go and look at stuff like that she may have but i don't i don't know Why are we driving so fast down the road? Now, folks, if you're reading it, when you're reading this and you think about what, what this is saying, leave it a comment. Let me know what you think. It might, that maybe Marilyn was visualizing. So this is some, this is some wild stuff. Something, something's got us in a hurry. Ooh. Do you know, and, and when I heard her say that, or when I read that, and I asked her, she said, well, it was like they was just flying down the road. They were flying, getting, you know, like you go drive fast down a road in a car. So, wow. And then it's, uh, she says, I'm seeing darkness now. This smells bad. The smell is bad. I'm seeing trash. I'm seeing some sort of lights. I asked Marilyn, I said, okay, what what did you smell? What do you she said it's it stunk like like dead animals. She said it was horrible smell. She said, and then it was there was a lot of trash and but there was some lights. And I said, What were the lights? She said, I don't know. She said she has no ideas, but it looked like maybe car lights or truck lights. 
but it was some sort of bright lights. And I'm like, ooh, that's crazy. Let's see. Um, and then it says, I see something being picked up. Something is very heavy, very heavy, bulky. This smells bad. She said, Marilyn says she don't know. She just felt being picked up and that that smell, the, the smell of dead animals uh, in that sense or dead something, something very bad was still around. So, but something being picked up, don't know. Don't have no idea. Now this was interesting. I see boards and lumber. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but boards and lumber. I don't know if they were at like like maybe uh if she was visualizing. She says she just saw boards and lumber, and she said it was like scraps. It wasn't like going to a, like a store or Lowe's or something like that. It, this was like scrap lumber scrap boards and stuff and then she said that she started visualizing like nails and siding I guess maybe house siding I don't know uh, plastic cups and trash so that would be like maybe she was at a work construction site or something like a you know but more trash I don't know maybe she was at a she was visualizing a landfill um, and then I see fingernails. She she just said that she saw fingernails. She saw some something grab with fingernails, and she didn't even tell me what they looked like. I don't even know if she know, but I oh, don't know, don't know. That's crazy though. That is unbelievable. So it says here, I'm uh, traveling, I'm still traveling, I'm still traveling. So she was visualizing that she was still in the car and still going. Well, if she was, or she was in a vehicle, she didn't say car. She said she was still in a vehicle, uh, she, that she could visualize a, being in a vi vehicle traveling. So, okay. It oh, it appears to be loud. It appears to be a loud engine. There's something loud. So, uh, what could that be? I mean, if she visualized something loud, could it be a loud truck? A loud airplane? Is it a loud something? But she says it's a, she, she could hear the engine. And, um, boy, see and why oh see this is so this is so sad why did i end up here where am i at it's very very dark it's very very dark it's very dark here see she and she was saying and i could hear it in marilyn's voice that she was really sad she was almost at a like a crying sad she said she could visualize whatever child that she was visualizing through their eyes that it was so dark and that child was terrified so that had to be trauma i mean yeah that would that would bother me and then she she heard these voices please don't leave me here and i'm like mm. that that would just overwhelm me yeah i would have had to just stop right there and she did she says she just that was pretty much it she said this was it and when she heard this says i promise to be good i promise she said that she was and then she said the last thing that she heard in her voice was this right here she heard goodbye and that was it that was all she got out of this that was the the last of what um, whatever she could, you know, pick up from the voices. Uh, she couldn't get a direction. She didn't see like a area, but this is all that she could get out of her reading. So very interesting. Wow. Spirit winner, you are now summons to leave this table. Thank you. All spirits leave the table. 
and you will be asked to come back. And I appreciate your patience and your willingness to help. Thank you for the information. Hopefully this will answer some questions or give us some kind of vision of what has happened to poor Sebastian Rogers. Please help bring him back home. Please. Thank yep. you, spirits. Yep. That's, boy, I got to tell you that, uh, that, that was a, that was a read right there, folks. And I just, I'm just afraid that something terrible has possibly, you know, happened to Sebastian, something terrible. Um, it's not looking good. You know, the longer we go, um, the more time goes by, it's the less likely that we will see this young man uh, alive. Um, I'm still praying that he will be, that he is alive, that he has maybe been kidnapped somehow, and we're not allowed to know about this, and that uh, he's okay as far as, or is still alive. But you would think that after this long of time, that a and I know that, you know, he's uh, in special needs, He's but he's 15. You would think that somehow we would know something. Somebody would know something by now of his locations. But this is so devastating for every point of this whole story, you know. But I think what it is is people are just so upset because Katie is just not showing the fact that you know that she is upset about her son i i mean and then not to have any of her family members coming out and you know saying hey uh, where's he at we're here to look too so something to me it's just something is very unusually odd about this and when I do these readings, folks, like I said, I'm not a psychic, but when these things comes up about the questions you asked about a person, it don't have to be just like for Seb Sebastian. It can be anyone. If you saw my other videos like for Summer Wells and for like, um, there's things I don't even know what's coming up. And somebody pointed out on the Summer Wells uh, uh, video that I had pulled a couple of numbers out and uh, and they were 59 and I remember looking at it and saying oh okay I'm thinking the five is maybe maybe that's saying that's about you know um, her age when she went missing but somebody pointed out that the 59 that Don Wells uh, sub uh, Summer Wells's dad is 59 and I'm like, damn, I mean, really? I mean, it's stuff like that when you do these readings and you find out little things like that from other people, from you folks. You want you folks are wonderful. My God, you're wonderful. Um, and there's several folks out here on the comments that um, do psychic work, uh, study this, has studied this for years and years. And you have just tremendously sent me messages and say, you know, this is what this is meaning. This is what I think it's mean. And I look at every one and I say, you know, that's right. It does. It's a possibility. It could be. So I'm not doubting anything that these cards and all the things and trinkets and stuff that I use. I'm not doubting none. But when I did the tea reading, folks, when I saw that, I, it, it took me a moment, but when I saw the angel hovering above the, you know, the grave, I'm just like, and then that clump next to it, it looked like what, a, what we, what we visualize, what the devil looks like, what a demon looks like, you know, so, um, but go back and look at that tea reading and see what you think tell me what you see in that picture because i am so curious about that i will do more readings um on uh different stories that comes up um 
if you uh, haven't subscribed, subscribe, um, if you will do so, it'll let you know that when I'm when I'm bringing out another reading. And I don't do these a lot. I I I've, I've done more in the last few weeks than I have in a while, but I enjoy doing it. But it takes a lot of energy from me. It just draws from your soul, you know, and that's why when you do stuff like this, you want to release the spirits, you want them to go on, even the good spirits, you know, and especially the bad negative spirits, but you want to release them and, and let them go and, and then call them back because every time I've done a reading, and like I said, even, even though I'm not a psychic, I don't consider myself born special of learning, of knowing, you know, seeing, you know, dead people and all. Uh, I still have a sense that I feel spirits. You know, I, I, my mom, she's been passed away many years ago, and I still feel her presence. I, I mean, I feel like every day, you know, she's, she's looking and, and she's trying to guide me into uh, other directions that I probably shouldn't have went or, or I mean or keeping me away from directions that I shouldn't go into maybe I, I don't know if that makes sense but I just feel like the you know there's something always there with you if you believe in it if you want to believe so um but folks thank you so much if you did like this please hit the like button um it'll get this message out to get more people to, you know, know the story about Sebastian. And I still, let me know what you all think about the situation of Sebastian. What do you think happened to him? What do you really think happened? Um, and, and think about everything that's happened, you know, from the stories, you know. Yeah, she, Katie keeps saying that, you know, he walked out barefooted. You know, or at least that's what she thinks or what she's saying. But we don't know what the story is. We can be told one thing and something else completely else happened. You know, everything we've been told, you just got to take it with a grain of salt. Just like the card readings and everything. Everything you hear on the internet, you just got to take it with a grain of salt. Only Katie knows what happened to the point that Sebastian went missing. She, I feel like she knows more than she's going to tell us right now. But I believe if something very bad happened in that house, um, that we will find out. We will find out something eventually. I know that the uh, law enforcement, they're working very hard in the background trying to figure out what the hell happened to poor Sebastian. So, but folks, thank you for watching. And as always, if you have a loved one, please go give them a hug, you know, because you never know. You just never know day by day what's going to happen. So, and uh, folks, I tremendously, I love every, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for uh, your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your uh, comments and you know just stay tuned folks we're going to do some more readings and uh, I want you to come along and see what story we find on uh, whatever I decide to you know to to do the reading on and you know and Marilyn also says thank you she loves uh, knowing that people are just uh, thinking of her um, so but folks I'm going to go ahead and call it for an afternoon it's a uh, afternoon where i'm at right now it's raining of course in east tennessee but that's okay but i thank you for watching and folks until next time this is george and i'll see you down the road bye-bye